everyone, this is Rob Roy, and welcome to the Elliott Wave Options S&P 500 U.S. Market Outlook. Back in January, at the height of the market rally, I did a webinar called the Elliott Wave Outlook for 2020. And in that webinar, I talked about a potential black swan that could derail the rally, and that was the coronavirus. And as you know, that's turned out to be exactly what's happened. I wanted to come back in this recording, make you aware of another potential black swan that I don't think enough people are considering at this moment in time. Let's take a look. I think the first thing we should talk about today was certainly the biggest news of the day, which was oil. I have the June futures contract on the screen for you, but the May contract that finished trading today, it expires tomorrow, closed at minus $35 a barrel. And a lot of people say, nah, don't worry about it. We've rolled over to the June contract. It doesn't matter. Well, I think when something happens that has never happened before, it matters. If you're wondering how could that happen, it's just, well, there's no storage. Uh, storage is basically at capacity. There's nowhere to put the stuff, and there's more tankers coming from the Middle East that uh, were shipped out before they agreed to the production cuts. So it's only going to get worse. Uh, on the volatility index, I wanted to show you this on the VIX. We did have a little blip to the upside today, so that was something that was uh, uh, noteworthy considering we had this big old uh, descending triangle pattern right here. But uh, remember, one day means nothing. You have to have a second day confirmation or follow through day. You've heard me say that many times before. Looking at a chart of the S&P, we did move to the downside today, but we didn't quite uh, close that gap almost, but not quite. So we go back and look at that. Fib retracement level. Once again, the three things we've been talking about up till now is uh, do we hold right here? Is that it? We fill this gap. Uh, do we go up to the 61.8% Fib level and then start the next downward move? Or do we violate the 61.8, go up to the 78.6, and any other further significant downward scenario uh, is out of the question. So uh, what's the trigger? We've been talking about the Federal Reserve injecting trillions of dollars and the bearish sentiment that has been helping to drive the market to the upside. But how about a catalyst that could actually turn and move the market back to the downside? And something that I don't think people are really talking about too much, but I think it bears watching is another potential black swan, and that's anarchy. By definition, anarchy is a state of disorder due to absence or non-recognition of authority. Have you seen the news today? Have you seen all the protests that are going on? Protests are not just limited to Hong Kong anymore. We've had a lot of them in our country. We had protests in California, Maryland, Texas, Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky. They're everywhere. You take people's freedoms away. And I'm not a doctor, so I'm not here to argue whether or not keeping the economy locked down is the right thing to do or the wrong thing to do. But if you saw the protests, they're not practicing social distancing. So if we start to get more and more of that, if it starts to snowball, they're organizing on social media, etc., you never know how that's going to play out. But you get groups of people like that, it could spread the virus again. We could have another round of the coronavirus as well. So many things could come out of that. I just don't think things like that are, uh, are baked into the cake or factored into where we currently are in the markets. Oh, and by the way, one more thing. This is not a fedora. I just have a really large head. <laughs> Hope you've had a good day. Back to talk to you again soon. Take care, everybody. If you like these recordings, I'd like to invite you to join our new Trade Finder Live, where each and every week we do a live webinar where we talk about the market, but we also go a little more in depth into the technical analysis system that we utilize to forecast where the market is likely going to go, and also to identify trading opportunities. Get your free subscription today. Take care, everybody.